I had to make a video, okay, because do we see what's going on today? <laughs> this is just a no. I honestly just, this deserves so many no's, okay? So many no's. Um, a lot of the video I'm probably just going to just have to just And just give some moments of contemplation and just silence because, yeah, this has got to end, honestly. I just feel like, you know, we have been, just our society in general has been kind of, we're tiptoey with things. Like, let's say, like, I walk in looking crazy and my friends, they'll be like, hey, Corey, how's it going? But in their heads, they're like, I need to, take my mind off. I, need to like, I need to say something, but I don't want to hurt his feelings. So we kind of get this, like, we can talk about things, but, but, if it gets too touchy, we'll just we'll just not say anything about it. Okay. And then things like this happen and Yeah, I'm saying something about it, honestly, because it's, it needs to stop. This is not acceptable. Not acceptable. Like, no. I mean if anybody like I don't know about anybody else. It's got to stop. Like, what are y'all doing? What are you really doing? You know what I mean? Like, you you literally put, you got up, planned this. You had to, I don't know, that flag probably costs $100. Like, you paid for that. Put all the, you got cops coming here. I'll get into that in a second, but we're not talking about that in a second right now. You got all this. You literally put all this together. All that. That's a lot of, that's a lot of things to do. Think about, think about putting your day together. Let's say we're going on a trip. We got to plan our day. Okay, we're going to, you know, think about what we got to eat. They ate. I'm sure they're full. They got to plan that. Okay, I'm going to go p protest my racism. Let me see what's, what I'm, what's going to put in my stomach. What am I going to wear for this event? That's a lot of time to register that it's crazy, that you're not supposed to do those, those things, and stop it. You know what I mean? But since you didn't, and we're continuing to just be pre-colonial in this bitch, sorry to curse, but, you know, that's just what it is. I don't even, there's no rules clearly anymore. Since we're just continuing to just, you know, hit it with the medieval times era type mentality, like we don't know better. And that's the thing, like, is this not so common sense? Like, is this not common sense? You know? I'm sorry, I'd have to take some more time to just. Because you're, you're literally physically protesting about the hierarchy of race and mm -hmm. how you're on a, a, high, a higher level in race. And you feel like that's being threatened, so there's this anger coming at you right now. Okay? So first things first, that makes no sense. That makes zero sense. So everybody, number one, if you've had any feelings about your race, like you felt lesser than... Get rid of it. Just get rid of it because, as you can see, these are the people that have been running the nation. Oops, my phone's my phone's over. It died. These are the people that are still a lot of them running this nation. Okay, they they don't make any sense. They don't have good thinking process going in here. So I wouldn't really care what they say. You know, race does not matter. There's no there's no way to balance that. You you can't you can't do that. What they did that's a plan. They're smart. Okay, what they did. Was they said we're gonna we gotta find a way to separate people, okay? So let's pick their skin color. We're gonna separate them on their skin color, and we're gonna over dramatize it, okay? We're gonna make we're gonna do the um, blackface and make make do, we're gonna do that and over dramatize that, and we're gonna you know add the Asian culture in, but we're just gonna add certain parts so we can call them the chink and that kind of stuff, and have that separation and race. And what that does is it makes us back up and look at everybody else like, oh yeah, they do have that over there. Oh, oh look over there. But instead, we need to be having these thoughts of unity because the thing about it is there's so many things. Like, I'm looking at my fish swimming around. Who likes fish? You know what I mean? If you want to eat them, sorry. Choo -choo. But if you're eating fish or if you want a live fish, probably a good bit of people could relate to that, right? 
Okay, how about I got I got some some floral. Okay, I got a little floral here. Who likes flowers? Anybody drink this? Oops. Anybody spill water? Anybody drink drink water? Anybody? Hmm. Let's see what else I can relate to. Oh, buddy, live live every day like I do. Yeah, we got anybody have plans in your schedule? Who likes candy? Okay, those are the things you need to be talking about with people to unite people. Not you don't have a white shirt on. I mean, I'm cool. See, I'm already messing up. You don't have a black shirt on. You're weird. Like what? That's what they did. Okay, and that that quality has been let me turn dry off. I'm wet and mad. <laughs> um, that quality is the problem. You know what I mean? That that's what we've been following these lies. Okay, and the thing about it is, when it's over dramatized for centuries, it becomes very important to you. But I've been taking time to just. I literally haven't had TV in two years, and I only have. I stopped watching the news before that because I just. Anytime I turn the TV on and my heart felt fear, I kind of put that the two two together that they're sending out fear to the TV. So, you know, through the not through the TV, but like through that the news literally is promoting fear. So stop that, and I don't have those fearful thoughts anymore. So try that one, but. Um, it, it's it's being literally produced everywhere, okay, and, and over dramatized, so over dramatized, so that we all are insecure about things. We don't even need to be insecure about. Literally walking around feeling bad for your race, or feeling like you have to struggle even more for your race because they make you feel that way. They're putting these things on you, these restrictions on you. And then the thing about it is, they know how powerful our minds are. You know, think about even if they're, they're sugar, ha half of the pills are sugar, and then we still it can cure us. And that, that's that's just one of it. But like. We're so powerful, okay? And, and you know, I'm not going to get into spiritual yet. That'll be another video. And I've had so many videos on the spiritual. But we're way more powerful than you think. And our minds are way more powerful. Than, and, and they create so much than, more than you think, okay? And so if you believe these things that people have been telling you, you're going to create that in your reality. You're going to act off those things. You're going to act in that way. You know what I mean? Like, think about you going to the mall. You act a certain way based on the beliefs you have in your head of how you should act or how... You know, you want to to look in a certain way. That's subconscious. That's some people are even more analytical about it, but some people just do it naturally. You know what I mean? Or someone um, attractive walks in and you just adjust a little bit. There's subconscious things that we do that are imprinted in us, and so when people tell you certain things, whether you you know are listening with these you know consciously or not, it's still registering to you. You know what I mean? It's still completely. It's registering. That's that. That's just basically it. You know what I mean? That's kind of how you, because um, it's a frequency. This the, the words people are saying. This energy of hate and, and and separation and doubt and fear is a frequency. Okay, and you can feel it. Okay, you don't have to hear it. It literally could be like I'm a, when I'm on the train sometimes and on humans we can we can sense when there's arguments or tension because our bodies release a whole bunch of positive ions and just like a whole bunch of negativity off energy frequency. Yeah, and we pick up on that. We pick up on that, okay? Think about you walk in a room that just the argument happened and you feel that, like, what is that? What's going on? What just happened, you know? We need to start paying attention to these things because that's showing us how powerful we are, and they know that, and that's why they're doing stuff like this and promoting this, again, to create, you know what I mean? People are out there fighting against these people. My phone is done. It's like, no. Fighting against these people Wasting their time fighting against these people as a, this is a distraction. It really is. It really is. Because we, we don't really know how powerful we are. You know what I mean? So we this has got to stop. It really does. It really does. Because people are fighting over dumb shit. I, I'm sorry. It doesn't make any sense. Okay? We need to get to a point where we stop pushing back when people say something about us. Because what has to happen is we need to know ourselves. Okay? Know that you're fine. You know, if you, if you know you're, you're, it's fine in your race, why are you mad when somebody says something about your race? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's crazy that this is going down and people are really doing crazy things like this. Like, I am angered. But it's not because of my race. I'm just angered that people... Like, this is literally a happening. I turned into... Like, I still don't turn TV on. But I saw this and was like, okay, this is literally... Who allowed this? Who allowed this? You know what I mean? We had, This is not okay. Not okay. And what I see is the the loudest people are the ones that need to be quiet. So to me, why are the quiet ones the ones that need to talk? You know what I mean? And, and before I kind of put myself on the silent treatment, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get into it. 
Um, I'm just going to stay away from it because I just sensed it was negative in the beginning. You know what I mean? I always didn't really like politics anyway because it's corrupt as hell. And I didn't want to jump into that anyway. And I said, you know what? I'm just not going to do me and focus on me. But I saw the, the I'm not going to pull it up again. I saw that and I said, you know what? I got to say something because we need to say something. It needs to, it, constantly, constantly. If you hear it in conversation, somebody saying some ignorant stuff, say something about it. You don't have, and the thing about it is we get so wrapped up in, in how it could hurt people, but just change the way you say it. That don't mean, the, the, the point is you need to continue with the direct point of, I need to get my point across. You know what I mean? But don't let the, the communication part in between interfere. Yeah. Because that's what's been happening. It's like, okay, I don't want to sound, you know, I don't want to get on, the, on their terms. I don't want to stoop down to the level. Why do you have to? to, to getting your point across does not make you stoop down to your level, but you also have to stand up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and know what you want. Okay? Because I'm not quiet with this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I really can't. I can't. If somebody makes some dumb racist jokes, I'm going to call you out. Okay? I will call you out because that makes no sense. It's 2017. And it, we don't have the time to do that anymore. It really That's play, play games. That's cute. That was cute to like make people feel bad about, you know, oh, you're gay. Oh, you know, oh, you fudge pack girl. You know, that's the stupid stuff that actually you need to deal with your sexuality because why are you so interested in it anyway? But we'll get to that later. Let's hold on the video anyway because, yeah, people. And that's the thing. There's in, You're interested in us. That's why you're so mad. If you were focusing on yourself and not on something else, you know what I mean. But people act enraged when they when they don't know something. When you when there's insecurity or there's um, um, something that you don't understand, we instinctively as humans, because we have to survive, kind of put suspicion to it. You know what I mean. But this is 2017 again. We're not cavemen. There's not a lion outside my door waiting to eat me. Okay, so. I can have the time to use my consciousness and my thought process to realize when certain fears come up that they're irrational and they make no sense. Okay? Like, oh, they're different. Maybe let me separate from them. That's not, that doesn't make no, that makes no sense. Okay? And so what, what this is for is I just need people to just join with me or I'll be doing it alone. Honestly, I, I'm fine with it. I make this video. I will continue to make these. I will do them alone. Okay? I'm, that's fine. Because this is unacceptable. And it's a disgrace, and it and not not even those words. I wish I didn't even have those words because everybody uses those words. But like it's it's, I'm a part of them. I, I we the we're the same. You know what I mean? So for some some I I have compassion for them. They need to learn that because that's not this. They're they're, they're protesting lies. They were taught the wrong thing. Okay, it's not it's not even about the anger towards me and, and how I feel towards them. I feel bad and they need to learn that what they're doing is not right. That's not right. You're, you're following lies. That's like somebody coming around like the sky is orange now and you get a whole bunch of people doing it and, and protesting about it and nobody's saying anything. We're getting mad like, why don't they know it's blue? Like, they protesting around and you're, you're going to the protest. Oh, it's It's blue. It's blue. I know you. It's. I know you're fighting. It's orange. It's orange. No, it's blue. No, calm down. Everybody, just calm down. You know what I mean. Know yourself. Do you know the sky's damn blue? It's blue. Okay. So you don't have to fight when somebody says it's orange, but you can tell them, hey, like, why do you think it's orange? Who told you it was orange? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can understand that. I can get that. But could you think it might be blue? You know, like maybe it's this. That's how you approach people with different perspectives. And that's how we get change happening. You come at it with compassion. Okay. You can't be sitting here. That's the main thing. Everybody's just mad. You're sitting here like, oh, well, they're doing this and uh, they're racist and supremacy and all that. But you're coming at them negatively. So you're, you're literally manifesting yourself. You're, you're literally seeing the anger in yourself at them is the same. It's the same. It's the same. So then when you realize that they're actually just protesting them, they don't know any better. Clearly, they think that they, that's right. We know, anybody who's watching this video understands, racism, homosexuality, I mean, I'm sorry, homophobia is just secret, weird thought. Racism, you have a lot of issues, okay? You just have a lot of issues with your own, um, that's just a whole, a whole bunch of other things, power issues, okay? Um, you know, misogyny, Okay. Women are the shit. And the thing about it is, the majority of ancient cultures were 
were wrapped around the woman, the woman, you know, and the divine feminine. Okay, and and what are we sitting on? Father Earth? No, you know what I'm saying? Space? What are we floating in? An open void. What does that sound like? The womb. You know what I mean? What does that sound like? A woman. You know what I mean? Feminine nature. We were waiting. You know that that's how everything flows. Everything goes go with the flow. That's not masculine. That's not masculine at all. Okay. And so people have been coming in with these lies, and people are believing them. And then we are ending up believing them because, in, in opposition, though, like it's like, well, well, I because you're angry means kind of you kind of still believe that maybe. Maybe you think that they're telling the truth. Do you do you do you believe that that race is? You believe they're right? Are they right? Are they right? No, no. We know all the dirty stuff that goes down behind the scenes to get the the appearance of hierarchy and race. Okay, we get that, but we need to heal that. We need to get past that. We need to go deep into that. That's what I've really been doing for so long. People know wonder why I disappear. I'm healing a lot of stuff. I'm literally going in and like if somebody says something and I see something and I get a reaction, I'm like, wait, why why am I reacting to that? Like what 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 why why do I am I okay with my race? Like am I do I really feel like I'm lower than a white the white race? You know, okay, well why who told me that I was? Like when when did when did I hear these things? Then I started, you know, you start researching things, you start looking things up. And then you can see, oh, well, I maybe believe this a little bit because of this is what I was told for so long. So, of course, that's going to be something I'm going to pick up because how else am I going to understand anything? Okay, now that I know better, now let me correct that and then let me heal that. And then I don't have to worry about it anymore. You know what I mean? It's like you do, you got a test. That's Nobody knows how to correct, self-correct anymore. We're just so angry. And even, no, we can't do wrong anymore. But then our lives are shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you know? So... We need to get through to the to the deepest dark depths, and that is through healing and talking it out and thinking it out, contemplating it out. Okay, if you see this, you see you know people. I know y'all know them. I'm from South Carolina. Okay, I went to school with people like this. Okay, who used to say this the dumbest. Little Wayne song comes on. Corey, what what's um what's the what's this what's what's that song that um I know it, um. It's that rap song or, you know, people, you know, the dumb, the, the, the stuff people say that needs to get stopped. It's not, the thing about it is it's not their fault. That's what it is. We're, we're mad to say something because we feel like we're going to, we're going to hurt their feelings. They don't know any better. They really don't. Half the time that you said something, <clears throat> said something and with compassion, they literally would honestly be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I did not, I did not even know. You know what I'm saying? I had a similar thing go on with me where I was, um teaching and I was describing a woman and I said, um, you know, this really nice Asian woman came in and the students, you know, kind of raised their hand. They were like, why'd you say Asian woman? Like, why didn't you, couldn't you just say woman? And I was like, oh dang, yeah, I definitely could just say woman. Huh? Like, I definitely, ooh, I was like, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I mean, I guess I was describing her, but they were like, you could have described her in so many other ways other than her race. And I was like, yeah, but it just felt right to say her race. And I was like, oh, thank you. You know what I mean? And I was teaching in New Jersey. I'm from South Carolina. So I hear more separation by race than they do, I guess. You know what I mean? And they're younger. They're in a, you know, that I grew up where nobody was even talking about any kind of awareness of rights. Not like this. Not like now. You know what I mean? We're not protesting like this. And so... They brought that to me, but instead of me pushing back and getting that resistance because I was unaware and I didn't want to, you know, seem, I didn't, I was unaware. I did not know, but they brought it to my attention and now I know, so I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? So that's all it is. That's really all it is. Okay. If you, if you know what's right, you can speak up on it. The only time we, we don't say anything is if it's usually not true or you're afraid to because of what people, we need to get past that even too. What people say, that's all high school, middle school stuff you should have healed. I mean, I'm healing it too. Like, I'm, I get I get it. I get it. It's societal. But once again, do you realize all this stuff they're putting on us? That's, it's really simple stuff. It's really like simple, simple stuff that you can easily get past. Easily. But they make it so big again because they have models on every magazine of what you should look like and on every TV show, 
when when you see the odd ball out, you have the high school clicks, and that, that these are things are promoted to separate us more and more and more. Okay, and so then we we get these concepts, and we we will start to believe that. But what we have to do is go back and just be like, wait, let me just ar- all this stuff out the get this all out the way. And I kind of see the world now as if we just dropped on it. You know what I mean? There's animals here, we're here, and we're all here doing this together. That's how I see it. You know what I mean? That we're not that different. And we're all really cute. Like, if you really like look at all, like, everybody's so cute. I always just love watching people because everybody's so beautiful. All the little quirky things we do. I love seeing people when, like, um, I love seeing people think because that's when you're, the facade is down. When you're kind of like, oh, that's you. You know what I mean? I love seeing people when they trip and, you know, they're like, oh, before they do the, like, nervous shit, you know what I mean? And they just, like, are, like, doing things. I want to be like, ah, that was funny. Like, because that's what I do. I, like, I like fall. I'm like, ah, and I'm looking for, like, you who saw that shit, you know? Because I, that's real life, okay? Like, yes, I, yes, Kara, maybe think about what people are thinking, but it could be good things because we're, we're naturally pretty good people, you know? And we all just want to just have a great time here, basically. You know what I mean? So we need to, to in, in order to get to that point, we need to promote the right things and speak up, basically. Now, I also had this one thing, and I feel like it's putting white people, and I, that didn't even sound that weird to say because, but whatever. Um, white people, if... if, if <laughs> I, uh, I don't even want to do this, but if you feel, like, uncomfortable by speaking about race or anything like that, um, first, just make sure you know that... that that's further being in the problem, like not the problem, but that's further agreeing that there's a problem. If you, if you feel tension towards speaking things, you must feel an attachment to the lies that are happening. But if you know that they, they, you know, the people that were lying and spreading all that slavery and crazy shit were on some bullshit and you're not, then you can, you're not on that shit. You know what I mean? That's not you. Okay. It need, doesn't need to be a race war again because race is not the issue. We need to unite. You know what I mean? So we need to stop. The like, oh, I'm white. I don't want to like speak up and you know agree because then I don't want to be. Maybe they think that I, I should be. I'm one of the the evil white people. You be you. You be you, and that's it. Okay. Don't 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 think about all that stuff because I had this post when I saw this post. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, this person I follow, she's a public figure, amazing woman, um, and super promoter for for women's self empowerment. Um her Instagram is at Mumu Mansion. If you look M U M U Mansion. And it, it this I'm gonna read it. It says, Dear well meaning white people who want nothing to do with alt right. We people of color cannot carry this burden you must engage. Okay. I I posted it on my on my story and I added, let's do this together, y'all. I even said gays, y'all. That means y'all got to get up, too. Because I know sometimes we're like, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm let them handle that. We need to get up, too. And and, and honestly, too, gay people, I'm just going to throw this out there, too. Be more proud, okay? Because there's nothing wrong with you, too. That's that's another thing, okay? There's more separation. There's more lies being filtered in to separate. I'm, I'm sick of it, okay? Scripture my ass. There's lies in the scripture. We all know there is, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying there's not. But there, I'm not saying that that it's, it's the don't believe in and that kind of stuff. It's brilliant, but we need to also be honest with things. We know that that time frames occur. Um, it was it was orated, you know what I mean. So I could say anything, you know what I'm saying. But I'm not even going to go there because people get testy because we have a lot of egos in the U.S. You know what I mean. When we can't understand that things are relative, you know what I mean. And and, and not everything is fact ever. Okay, so so. You don't have to be so tight with things. When people say, no, gay is okay, I, I'm attracted to men, and I feel like that's natural, maybe fucking listen to them. You know what I mean? And not be so aggravated, because that that's what all, that's the same, it's the same. This is the exact same thing. And then this is what happens. Y'all see this? This is the car that came in and into the parade. Okay? Um, we gotta get past it. Okay, so gays, like, stand up. Nothing's wrong with you. Your love is beautiful. 
if somebody says some shit, say something back because they didn't do what? I'm not saying fight back, okay? Because people are coming at you angry because they honestly need to come out and figure their own sexuality out. And it might not even be their game. Maybe they just have thoughts and they need to realize that that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? And so the anger can come down. You know what I mean? Don't don't react with anger because that's anger is from from not you're not understanding things. But hit them with some compassion. Hit them with some facts because you know the facts. Because if you, if you believe in yourself, you gotta be following some kind of some kind of belief. If you accept it in yourself, you know. So preach that to them and see what happens. You know what I mean? How we can convince people to, oh yeah, girl, that dress looks beautiful. Oh yeah, girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely think you should you should feel like race is equal and not not hierarchy. Yeah, girl. Yeah, it looks great on you. You know what I mean? That's what we need to be doing. Okay? Instead of I mean, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm not going to talk to her anymore because she's a Trump supporter. Ask her why she is. I want to know. You know? So maybe she can see, like, and then talk to her about why you're not. And then so then maybe we can have an understanding of things and maybe just see, oh, girl, you just didn't, you you know, your family, you were born with money and you didn't really have that many struggles yet and everything was kind of hidden from you, so... And I'm not saying personal struggles. I'm talking about, like, cultural, societal struggles, okay? Society's not against you, okay? And so you're not going to understand in, in certain aspects. And then I'm not, I'm not in your perspective, so I'm not going to understand your perspective, so I can't be mad at you, you know what I mean? But we can come to a person. Uh, if, if people turn together, we can have an ultimate truth. But everybody's around here with their truth sticking up, and nobody can come to any kind of agreement, okay? So we got to lower that shit, okay? Tone it down. Put your ego in your career, Put your ego in your your confidence. Put your ego in, you know, how, how you take care of yourself. Put your ego in how you stand up for yourself in relationships. Not in how you support dumb shit. Okay. I know the cursing is happening a lot, but it needs to it needs to ring. Okay. I need to make sure that this is getting across bluntly. Okay. So don't don't do that no more. It's it's that's so old. It's so old. It's so old. We literally have been talking about this for so long. You know what I mean? Like Music, think about if we, if we li- it literally like, listen to the same song for 200 years. Like, let me say if I'm playing this. <laughs> what song is that right now? Oh, no, this is Rihanna, so we got to do that. Um, this song, I love this song, but like, 200 years it is. For 200 years. And no new song coming. I'm not saying that, you know, we have to repeat because Christmas songs, we still like those because it's it stops and it comes back. The same shit, we are still feeling like, you know, um, like I even have this this um, thing in my in, in my class, in the sociology class, okay, where they said, they took a poll and they said, I'm literally the only black male in there because this is University of South Carolina. And they said, um, which one do you feel like is true? Are there more black males between the age of 20 and 30 in college or in prison? Okay. Everybody said prison. Everybody. Because of how it's portrayed. Okay. Because of how it's portrayed. If we can agree that they portray body image wrong, why can't we agree they portray sexuality wrong, race wrong, all kind of other things wrong? You know what I'm saying? We need, we need to get to those points and realize that. Once we realize, oh, they're portraying that wrong, that means that's not true. Okay. So what's the truth? Then we can go with the truth, okay? And stop believing this stupid stuff. We don't have to have these rallies about dumb stuff. We can have rallies about actual, like, cures for things and, and realizing that the world we're on is sick, you know what I mean? Or, or things like that, you know? And, and, and how to help education or new inventions. Let, let, let's just grow as a, a species and stop fighting each other. You know what I mean? Like, ew. We could be creating so many cool things. Like, let's create a whole new art form. Let's create a whole new color. Let's see if we can come up with the color as a speed. You know what I mean? I don't know. That. I mean, those are like simple things, but like those are things that are better than rallies about white supremacy. Like, do you see? What? Excuse me? Y'all are dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. I'm sorry. It is. Figure it out. Figure it out. Okay? Um, if you're against, you feel like women are lower than men. And women, if you feel like you're lower than a man, you're dumb. I'm sorry. It's not dumb. The word I don't need to worry about the, the word choice because sometimes it, it hits people. You're in, you're you're living. You're following a lie. You know it. Okay. Sexuality. Don't even tell me. 
if you don't if you don't agree with it, okay? Or if you if you're one of the people that's like, oh well, it's you know we're all sinners too. No, don't come at me with that. Don't come at me with that shit. No, don't try to accept me for what I am. No, know that you're li- you're believing some lies too. Okay, there's a lot of lie 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 pe- lie liars around here. Not liars, but people believing lies. Okay. It's this truth time. We need to bring the truth and stick with the truth because the truth doesn't go anywhere. Okay, we're all here equally. There's nothing wrong with none of us, and it's beautiful that we're diverse. Okay, and that's it. Then we don't have any problems. We can grow, you know, and move on with this. Okay, so that's all I have to say. I just, I just have to keep keep talking. I'm just going to continue to continue to talk because I just feel like nobody is, you know, and, and or we're only talking to our circles and we're only keeping it private and we're on because we're afraid of what it's going to do if we speak about it or we don't necessarily know how to come across at it. You know what I mean? But if you come at it with love, there's lo- there's no way it's going to go wrong. Trust me. Trust me. It's not. If you come out with understanding and you're really trying to figure out what in, what is it, why, why, you know what I mean? Because if you know the truth, then you can understand. Like, it's like a math equation. If you understand that, you know, an equation and then somebody has the answer wrong, oh, then you can easily explain to them, oh no, 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 it's it's a negative eight, not the positive eight. That's how you got that, you know, you got that answer wrong. Oh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. But if you're confused about the answer, they confused about the answer, we're fighting again about confusion. But y'all know, we know this. We know the goal rule, we know what comes around goes around, we know race is wrong, we know all these things, but we act like we don't. So know it, promote it, and go with it, okay? Because that's what it is. Unless I'm about to keep making videos alone. You know what I mean? And just, yeah, like, stand up with me. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's all I have to say.